Hello viewers, this is Ilyas of Software Company and I am your instructor Mohammad Ilyas. <coughs> so in this video, we are create video that's how to insert any language in HTML servers like Urdu, Pashto, Parsi, Arabic and so on. Turkish, maybe any language alphabets you want to show if you want to show in HTML servers so how to do so now uh, for more videos subscribe our channels and also click on the bell buttons so now open your database now create the database right click new database write the name of database and specify the path where you want to show your database and now press on the ok button if database is created successfully then click on the, uh, this uh, button plus and then right click on table and create the table now so have the id which is primary key and it must be uh, uh, not null now where is the name and uh, uh, if you want to show any language uh, and uh, and database uh, and database uh, tables, so uh, you must be at the inward chart data type. It might be a uh, data type is an inward charts. Inward charts is supports any type of language, but for chart is not supported. And this inside these parentheses, these digits, this is the length of this uh, uh, field value. So now you uh, mark it as an inward chart data type. And then remove this uh, check. Also, the contact number, inward chart, contact number, which is enough. I know 150. Now right click and sell the name with the Person table, it's me so the person table, and now click on this and it's marked as a primary key. And also set the identity specification properties, uh, yes, and then so. Then you go to the SQL server. No, sorry, open your Visual Studio. Here I'm using the Visual Studio 2019 community version, and now create the new projects and uh, select you want to any technology you, you want select this select uh, here i am using the window form app so now select window form and then click the next button and enter the uh, project name uh, demo demo app one F2 and then create if the project is created successfully then open your form and uh, add some control here uh, select the labels two labels so now this labels and uh, the label text is full name and then copy press control with the mouse left button and drag so you will take the copy so now here is the contact number and now text box add the text box for entry to user for user entry so now this text box and this so this one is for the uh, name so txt full name and this one for contact number and then add the data grid view and uh, this text box is for searching for filter so now right click and save so now right click and create the database layer database layer 
this layer is to communicate with database through this layer we are communicate with database so now click and open and now add the uh, some by using a system dot data dot schema light schema client and then using system dot data and now we are carving some code from uh, the database so now open um, and copy this code this is the database layer no oh, sorry inside this space this code sorry let's me again now copy the code now set the uh, database path so open the tool connect to database and then uh, your uh, local server name so now click on this and copy this name and paste the name here and then go to the schema server and copy a database name and also paste here and now click on the test connection if the connection is succeeded then go to the advanced button and copy this text index connection link path now select this and paste here for learning this or better later uh, go to my channel uh, in your soft software company and uh, here you will learn the c sharp basic course c sharp basic course for beginners most and simply we are say about the better 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 later i'll set the patterns uh, like this same you don't need to add uh, here another okay, so now this is the link so here uh, this is the method uh, which is create the connections in uh, RAM uh, here the create connection here check the status if the status is not open then the status is open uh, set the status open of these connections here then these conditions and then you turn the connections this uh, method is used for uh, from create update and delete this uh, uh, methods perform uh, these three operations create update and delete so uh, here we are at uh, the uh, try cache which catch the exceptions and this is the schema commands uh, which we are using uh, like uh, here the execute button so now uh, let's me go new query this is execute so for execute for farming for execute we are using this camel command in camel adapter camel adapter get data from database in camel command perform the command and the database like uh, create uh, update delete the uh, insert for this uh, so oh, is camel command is camel command so here we are using the overload uh, this one is the command text and schemal connection so this is to return the schemal connections and this is the query so now cmd.execute query return the uh, affected records number of records and then uh, here we are check the records is greater than zero affected record greater than zero if greater than zero means insert record and insert otherwise please try again and here we are following the we are uh, getting the catch the exceptions and return on the on this path and here the uh, and this table is using for the retrieving uh, data table and then this came uh, data adapter and then it's filled its data uh, data table um, we are also using the same parameter so the same overload uh, constructor so it's case here the command text and here the cell is uh, connections so it's returned the uh, data table so save and now go to the form 
here we are adding two buttons one for saving and one for clear here we are adding the button btn save now click on this button and check ftxt dot full dot text dot trim and then check the length if it is equal equal to zero it means there is no value so then show the message show please enter full name and will return and then string query is equal to string dot format string dot format is a plus order so now insert into person table person table so now copy the right click and refresh and copy the person table so now this is the person so person table and then one uh, one is name and the second is contact number and then pass here the values so the value is zero which in comma one in comma txt full name dot text dot trim again comma uh, txt contact number dot text dot trim so the query is complete so now uh, here is the message box our string message is equal to database layer dot uh, cud and query I now uh, run the application. So here we are uh, entering uh, alias and then the contact number. This also our or WhatsApp contact number. And then save. Well, I got this save or not? the record is self successful so now show the message message box that show this message and then run again the application And here we have John and in self. So the record are so but not show showing in this grid view. So now create a method for showing the record inside the grid view. So private white well grid. So now here we are passing the parameter string uh, value and uh, string query string that empty and then if a string that is null or empty the value then uh, query is equal to select static from person table and then else copy this and where the name is are like and then about the person and then value and lost your data table Data table TT is equal to database layer that retrieve and then pass the query and then DGV data grid view dot data source is equal to TT and now copy this go to the designer 
click on the load and paste here string dot empty pass the empty parameter here value and now copy this and then click on this text box and uh, add the method on text change we want so here the txt box one tex text box one dot text and now run the application so here you are uh, so now i'm adding the mock finding the number and so so here we uh, okay, so the mark is here also add this method below the message or above the message this and then run again the application then submit and save so here you are uh, saving the record and also filtering it. but we want to add here the uh, turkish arabic uh, means other languages we want to save in this uh, database so here we are adding the um, another one here we are we have a urdu uh, keyboard so now we are selecting the urdu keyboards and i'm writing here the uh, alias and now we are trying to save so now save so here we are getting the question mark not the uh, original value so here the issue is that if you are uh, mark here the data type is n virtual so then must be marked the value also the n with n so then go to uh, now where you must be marked it as a n so then now let's me run again i think we want to try to serve alias and now click on the server so now here we are getting the original value yes okay so now here we are trying to so now here is not a filter on this value Alif, Lam, Ye, Sin. So now, how to filter through these uh, other languages uh, characters? So now we are also adding here n. You must mark the value also with n. So if we are here add, so now go to and select the uh, keyboard, and then yeah let's get in the record so it means if you are mark a data type as an inward charge so then you must be marked your value as a n with n so that is the method for exciting uh, other than uh, english language you want to serve and a database means Urdu, Arabic, and any language you want to save on your database. So that is the method for saving and database. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channels and also click on the bell buttons.